President Obama spoke publicly for the first time about the Christmas terror attempt, ordering more air marshals, more airport screenings, as al-Qaeda in the country of Yemen officially claimed responsibility. We have full coverage on World News tonight, starting with new details about the man who tried to take down the plane with his bomb and how close he came. Brian Ross leads us off. He has the photos. Indeed, Diane, these are photos that are stark evidence of the terror group's twisted creativity and determination to strike the U.S. This was the bomb smuggled onto the Northwest flight, sewn into the crotch of the suspect's underwear, his briefs, seen in government photos obtained by ABC News. In this photo, the packet of actual explosive powder was removed from the slightly charred and singed underwear and displayed separately. It is a six-inch long packet of the high explosive chemical called PETN, less than a half a cup in volume, weighing about 80 grams. A government test shows what would happen to an airplane with only 50 grams of PETN. That's the amount in the bomb carried by the so-called shoe bomber Richard Reed over Christmas 2001. The underpants bomb would have been one and a half times as powerful. And tragedy was averted only because the detonator, the acid in this melted plastic syringe, caused a fire but did not make enough contact to explode the PETN. It's very clear. It came very, very close. Uh, the, ex the explosive device went off. It became an incendiary device instead of an explosive device, uh, which is probably what saved that airplane. The 23-year-old Nigerian suspect told FBI agents he received the bomb from and was trained by al-Qaeda in Yemen over the last few months. In a web posting today, the al-Qaeda group displayed a picture of Abdul Muttalib, calling him a hero who overcame legendary American intelligence, which showed its fragility. And the group said a new attack was coming like never before seen. Yemen is in many ways the new Afghanistan. It is the new sanctuary the new al-Qaeda base where people from around the world who want to be trained are sent, no longer to Afghanistan, but to Yemen. In a statement today, the al-Qaeda group promised yet another attack like, like never before seen, and it said the attempt to bring down the jet was retaliation for U.S. airstrikes in Yemen. But those airstrikes took place on December 17th, and Abdul Muttalib's mission was already underway then as he bought his ticket to Detroit on December 16th, Diane. So it had already been planned, whatever Al-Qaeda right, says. Right, jihadist bravado. Abdul Muttalib, any news today about why he attempted this on landing, why he waited till then? He was given very specific instructions about what to do, and to do this just before landing would suggest they wanted the plane to explode over U.S. territory where it would be clear the plane was brought down by a bomb. There'd be no mystery about who did it and why.